Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Well, we have a handful of verses to read today and uh, just two more devotions in chapter 22. I hope that God's really been speaking to you, but verse 9 is where we're going to start today. Let me pray for us and then we'll read. God, we bless your name today. We give you praise just for the beauty of this story in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Man, that's crazy. Then Abraham reached out his hand, took the knife to slaughter his son, but the angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, here I am. Nothing has changed, by the way, for Abraham. He said, do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him, for now I know that you fear God, seeing you've not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. So, you know, all of this stuff is unfolding. You know, the wood has been placed. Isaac has no idea what's going on. Abraham binds Isaac. He binds him and prepares him to be sacrificed. There's a lot to say about Isaac here. And by the way, um, Isaac is um, a figure of or a type of Christ. And you, you see that because he willingly allows himself. He's not fighting, resisting. Dad's an old man at this point. He's a young man, could have probably taken pops, but he doesn't do that. He trusts He trusts his dad with his own life. Abraham binds him up, places him on the wood that's been prepared, pulls the knife out, is about to slaughter his own son. This is the binding of Isaac. And And the angel of the Lord speaks, Abraham, Abraham. And I just want you to note Abraham's response, okay? Here I am. Here I am. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot in those words. They are the same words he said when this trial began. And make no mistake about it, it was a trial. Um, Here I am. What does that mean? It means I'm yours. I'm available, I'm your servant, I'm surrendered, I'm not going anywhere, I belong to you, you're my God, I worship you. That's what that means, you know, three days later in the midst of the hardest trial where he's having to potentially sacrifice the thing that means the most to him, I just want you to note, nothing's changed with Abraham. Nothing's changed with him. He's still the same man. He's still the same man that's devoted to God. And this was part of the personal revelation that God was bringing to Abraham's life. You know, it's not as if God did not know what was going to happen. He did. But Abraham didn't know. And Abraham needed to walk through this fiery trial so that not only could his faith be refined, but so that the fullness of his faith could be revealed. What happened in this moment didn't just happen because Abraham was building his faith over a short period of time. What happened in this moment was the fulfillment of faithfulness, consistency, devotion, dedication, obedience. Not perfect obedience, right? I mean, there were a lot of failures in Abraham's life. But when Abraham failed, he didn't just stay down. He got back up and he leaned into God and he owned his sin. And and he made it his purpose to be a worshiper. And all of that built him into the man he was in this moment to be able to say, God, you know what? No matter what happens, no matter what you bring my way, no matter what circumstance I'm confronted with, here I am. Here I am. I'm yours. I'm not going anywhere. Even if it costs me everything, I belong to you. And in that moment, and I think connected to the course that Abraham chose for his life, right? I mean, he, he chose to walk to Moriah. 
He chose to walk up the mountain with his son. He chose to put the wood on his shoulders. He chose to take the knife and the fire. He chose to bind his son. He chose to lay him on the altar. He chose to pull the knife back. I mean, with every intention of fulfilling the obedience. These were all decisions that he made along the way. And, and because of that, he was able to say in this moment, here I am. I am, this, I, I am the man that is devoted to you, who's learned to be devoted to you over the course of time. And, and you know, I mean, I'm not sure I have to say anything right now because I, I would imagine that the Spirit of God is ministering all these things to your heart. Um, but I do just want to say this, that you know, God has purpose in the adversity that he places before us, and all of the adversity is intended to take us deeper, our roots deeper, to grow the foundation stronger, to make us the men and women that he wants us to be, so that we're shaped and molded into the image of his son, but so that we continually come to a place where it's like, God, we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We belong to you. But just like Job said, you know, though he slay me, yet will I trust him, yet will I serve him. I don't know what you're going through today, but choose the course, choose the path that Abraham chose. And when you do, this is what happens. God will provide a ram in a thicket. God will be the one to step in at just the right time and bring to you exactly what it is that you need. Have a good day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.